Hey, this is Scott at CircuitBasics.com. This video, I'd like to show you how to set up a relay that is controlled by a thermistor. So you can control higher voltage appliances or devices with temperature. The relay I'm using is a SRD-05VDC-SL-C 5 volt relay. This relay has three terminals. On the top you have the normally closed terminal, in the middle you have the common terminal, and on the bottom you have the normally open terminal. The normally open terminal is powered when you send a 5 volt signal to the signal pin of the relay. The normally closed terminal is shut off when you send a signal to the signal pin, and the common terminal is what supplies the power to the normally open and the normally closed terminals. So I have it set up so that the hot side of the power cord is connected to the common terminal of the 5 volt relay. And I have another wire coming out of the normally open terminal of the relay. And that wire is connected to the hot side of the light fixture. I have the negative or neutral side of the power cord connected to the neutral side of the light fixture. So when we send a 5 volt signal to the relay through the signal pin, the relay will be activated and it'll close the switch between the common terminal and the normally open terminal. And current will flow through and power the light bulb. In this case, we're going to be using a thermistor to tell the Arduino at what level we should send a signal to the relay so that it activates and then closes the switch and turns on the light bulb. So we're going to set up our thermistor voltage divider, just like we did in our Arduino thermistor temperature sensor video. You might want to look at that. But we're going to insert a 100K thermistor into the breadboard, along with a 100K resistor. Now we're going to connect the side of the thermistor that's not connected to the resistor. We're going to bring that over to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. And then we're going to take the side of the resistor that's not connected to the thermistor and bring that over to the ground terminal of the Arduino. And then we're going to take the rail of the breadboard that both the thermistor and the resistor are connected to and bring that over to the analog pin 0 of the Arduino. And that sets up our voltage divider. Now we want to connect the relay up to the Arduino. So we take a jumper wire from the signal pin of the relay and connect that to digital pin 10 of the Arduino. Now we take a jumper wire from the positive pin of the relay and bring that over to our positive rail on the breadboard. And then take a jumper wire and connect that to the negative pin of the relay and bring that over to the negative rail of the breadboard. All right, so now we're all set up. Let's go back to the blog post and get the code. So copy that. Open up the Arduino IDE. Paste it in there. So this is our standard thermistor program. It takes the voltage detected by the Arduino at the analog pin zero and converts that into a temperature reading. And then we can use an if statement to say if the temperature is greater than or equal to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, then digital write to pin out a low signal. So if the temperature is greater than 90, then the output at our output pin, pin 10, is low and the relay will not be activated. Otherwise, if the temperature is less than 90, then we will send a high voltage signal to digital pin 10, and that will activate the relay and turn the light bulb on. All right, so now that we have it uploaded to the board, the temperature is below 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so the light turns on. And as soon as I squeeze it, the temperature raises above 90 and turns the light bulb off. And on. All right, well, that's it. So let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming out. And I hope to see you again. All right, we'll talk to you later.